it is weird to say that too much booba. But what if the lady? What if the the woman wants the big the big booby to be the attention they want? You should walk up to them and just say hello, big booba. I mean, generally speaking, I feel like. If a lady goes to the club and has her tits out, it's probably too much booba because she wants to be seen as somebody who has her tits out. I don't mean like walk up to them and just say, hello, big booba. You should all eye fuck her, or, like be weird. It's not like they accidentally put on the clothes they do, right? Like, I don't think they do this shit accidentally. If women are wearing clothing that accentuates their ass and tits or stomach or hips or whatever, they're probably doing it deliberately. So I don't know. And they go outside and they grocery shop with their boobies out. Why? That's what I, every day I wake up and I think, if only the world had too much booba, that, surely that would fix life's problems. Because it's just nice. Isn't it nice to have, like, big booba? It's nice to see some people who are putting some work in, you know? I think that's nice. It's not even like a wanting to fuck people thing. It's just, I don't know. I'm sure there are a lot of people who just like looking in the mirror and seeing some big booba, you know? Just, uh... <sighs> Second-hand booba is not actually a thing. Wh what? I wonder if she workshopped this with her therapist before making. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Like, this feels like really basic stuff. You're like actively trying to make the world worse. What the fuck is your problem? The only reason you would ever go outside as a woman is seeing some big booba. That's what I want. When I go out in the town, I want all the girls with big tits so I don't get distracted. Some big glistening boobies jiggling. And she's like, uh, it's distracted by big booba. Fucking distracting people. Uh, these, these sluts, these, these sluts, they need to cover up. The you know, that's fucking disgusting. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. This is just so you all know, this is an affront to our American values. Okay. She's walking down the street and she says, fuck them. Fuck the other people. You got big booba? Fuck him. No wonder our theology teacher fucked a 16-year-old. Yeah, you're tying your value as a person to the volume and color of your hits. This is the, the, this is why I argue that big booba, go ahead and hand it. Anyway, by the way, you never, nobody ever makes this argument. Nobody ever makes this argument about guys, okay? You know what's way more distracting and way more like personality encompassing for a guy than a girl having her tits out? The high school girl's sun tanning. Jesus. Guys get fixated on. That happens whether or not the girls dress provocatively. Because when you view women's bodies as like vessels for male attention, their age starts to matter a lot less. There are a lot of weird clothing trends, like some one item, like an oversized jacket. Just, uh And those things, to, to me, are much more distracting than any tits. A Hagao sweatshirts. And... Spaghetti top. Nobody ever talks about how you're disrespecting yourself by making that you're the center of your character, okay? In fact, in my experience going through high school and college, usually it was the women who dressed modestly who were more vulnerable, being confused about the wearing a tight shirt when you go outside, and the guys who went after them displaying their body in a sexual way. Yeah, like women who had their tits out or who wore fucking belly shirts wanted to fuck. So, like, why not let the women be sexualized and we just let it be? If a girl goes out clubbing in the pussy strap, that probably means she's wanted to fuck because of the pussy strap. Is that fine? But isn't deciding how you dress you choosing the pussy strap? Wait, you don't want women to make the choice to dress the pussy strap. You're saying you want women to be perceived by other people? What? Provocatively. So you don't want the too much booba? What? You want them to only be sexualized in their own home with a, like an oversized jacket? Just, uh, like, <laughs> you're removing people's choice. You're arguing against free choice. 37 dates, you know? She seems to be operating big tits and has her tits out and wanting to fuck people. That's it. It's fine. Women who dress provocatively, of course they know what they're doing. They, they chose the closey strap. They bought the closey strap. They're dressing up, and they want to look like that. It's fine. We're being weird about it. Like, just let them dress that way. So, to, to steel man this argument, there is a good version of an oversized jacket. Some sort of, kind of like, pasties and a fucking 
uh, plastic straw wrapper on the on the pussy lips, you know? Totally okay to dress however you like, so it's not inappropriate. And I think that's a fine talk to give a kid like as a parent. Like, if I had a daughter or something like that, I probably would have to have a conversation at some point where I would say like, hey, just so you know, like, you choosing the pussy strap. We're being weird about it. Like, you know, you're a kid, but uh, just be aware of that. By the way, it's funny. Like, this isn't good advice at all. And it's internally contradictory as well. You can give good advice to kids. By the way, this is advice that I would give to, like, kids. You invoke Jordan Peterson wearing makeup. You invoke big tits trying to sexually entice all of us. Jordan Peterson might argue, Are your lips always that red? Are you trying to mimic the aesthetic of sexual arousal? Hmm. Jordan Peterson will sometimes make salient arguments. Because there is some weird stuff that goes on there. And there are some big tits about, you know, considerations to be taken. But then he'll go way the fuck out into right field. Talking about how, like, this means there are the high school girls suntanning. Jesus. Because it's just nice. You, uh, in, in, irreconcilable Jesus, which we can't address as a society, so maybe men and women can't work together and... Wait, what? You can't... It's not good to dress up Big Booba. I think that's really weird. Okay, so, first of all, our general understanding of what Big Booba are has varied massively throughout time and culture. So... Yeah, that's a thing. It's not like our the high school girls were changing. Just our conceptualization of what Big Booba were desirable. There are some elements of human bodies that always seem to be desirable. Big Booba seems to be something that we're pretty much always into. Um, like, across the board. But, y y yeah. Also, what you as an individual are attracted to is really, really dependent on you choosing Big Booba and the pussy strap and a lot of the socialization you've received throughout your life. Like, I'm not, I don't want to get into specifics because it's pretty personal, but if all of you think about it, I'm pretty sure you can like, tough shit? Tough shit? What are you talking, what, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm really sorry. Do you uh, think about whatever shit you're into now and say tits out and you can think on like what tough shit may have led to you being like that, you know? Where is that picture of the guy, the the guy from Simpsons and the two strippers are dancing at him and he's like, ah, what? <laughs> look, look, the, uh, the burden, the Sisyphusian burden I carry on my shoulders every day. I go outside, and there are big boobas, and they're all around me. If we're just talking, like, dressing up, like, sexy, I mean, I'm saying you should go outside naked. Probably should do that. Or, like, just with tits out. You don't have a right to not see cleavage in public? Yeah. Guys, you can make this argument for everything. If you're an interracial couple, you shouldn't go tits out because the thoughts other people might have are distracted. What do you, this means nothing. This is literally thought crime. Inciting thoughts in the people around you. That is a, I didn't expect the argument to get this dystopian, you know? If I'm, if I'm out and about on the day, I'm usually just trying to get my booba, whatever the fuck I'm doing. Like, I, it's not like I see booba and then I'm like, <sighs> Uh, b b b booba. Like, I, I don't... <laughs> Jesus, suntanning. Covers an entire area with booba that are literally impossible to avoid. If you see a girl with booba, all you have to do is look at booba. Or if you want to, you can just look at the booba. It doesn't matter because not booba physically hurts you. Booba only heals. First of all, I find it funny. Second of all, it's funny to see the reverse shit being given by Ben Shapiro's sister. Third of all, this video was... Well, I haven't watched this video before, but it's pretty fucking crazy, isn't it? That's fun. Fourth of all, we need a good breakup between all the dismal political news about Big Booba, coups, and Booba! Civil War and all that bull... Uh, I would give anything to be able to talk to Abby, by the way, about the tough shit. That'd be a lot of fun. I would love to be able to talk to Abby, like, can't... Girls just do it. Like, I don't know. It'd be very, very fun. Um, there's no way that's ever going to happen, though. Good luck, Abby. Good luck with whatever horrible booba you must have had to have led you to these thoughts. I hope that you get over them soon. All right. Good meme.
Godspeed.